What did the front cover of the Times run with, Nick? Well, they've got stop tweeting and get on with the job, police told. This is, a, this is Stephen Watson, chief constable of Greater Manchester. We've heard of him. He's getting yeah. quite a name from he's, him. A, he's proven to be a bit of a legend because he's saying that he wants officers to get on with catching criminals and answering 999 calls. Imagine that. That a won't bit, catch on. No, no. a bit no like way. a police force, we could call it. But, yeah, I mean, look. The tide could be turning finally on all this stuff. People are so sick of the police on Twitter. He's calling it fluff and nonsense. He's saying we've got to stop that. He says that, look, we're not good at social media. It's a skill that we don't have, even if we have good intentions. And sometimes he's saying the intention is pure virtue signaling. So he's basically saying back to basics. Stop wearing the Menno vest, if you saw that. Yeah, I did. Um, that ridiculous vest where a man thought he had, the, you know, he tried to emulate the menopause by wearing a hot vest. People are sick of this stuff. And he's saying let's get back to being an actual police force. And he's apparently massively improved statistics in his... Uh, his his, it, it was, he brought his area out of special measures in less than two years, and the time it takes to answer 999 calls has fallen sharply. So, so he's doing actual police work. Right, so Thea, isn't this the point that whatever we might think about this Stephen Watson character, his methods are working? I mean, his police force are doing particularly well because he is adhering to old-school ideas about policing. Isn't that right? I think if there's a net result that any form of crime or any sort of behaviour has changed as a result of someone being in power, you have to look at the net-net result yes. as opposed to the methodology that they took together. You don't think the methodology is... There's a causal relationship between the methodology and the results? No, I think there is a causal relationship. Right. So I think uh, he has enough scope in my mind to do whatever he likes. And do you feel that the police do spend too much time tweeting and, and telling people not to, I not personally, to say nasty I'd, things online? I mean, I, if, if they're trying to cajole people into behaving better, then that's one thing. But if they are virtue signalling and wasting time and wasting tax, taxpayers' money essentially on social media, I don't want to see it. I want them protecting women on the streets at night. I want them protecting people from domestic abuse. I want them actually doing their jobs, following up on leads. And I don't need to hear about what sandwich you're eating at lunch. I think they need to do their job. I mean, I suppose that's the point, isn't it, Nick? That a lot of the time that they do tweet about, you know, don't say anything offensive, don't say anything unkind. Well, those aren't crimes. No, no. They don't have any scope. You get these hate, non incident hate crime, non incident whatever, hate, whatever they're called. Non crime hate Thank incidents, you. which are now a thing of the past. Yeah, they're nonsense. And it, that's what he's saying. It, look, you don't need to go any further than Peel's principles. They were, it was all in there. He says here, officers should be professional, impartial, and never political. That was all there in Peel's original principle. You don't need any of this stuff. And he, he says that officers, he insists officers attend every burglary and call out that matter to the public, like criminal damage and antisocial behaviour. This is what people want from the police. Yeah, it's of course. Well, it seems like a no brainer, but. There we go, it took us a while to get there.